my friends welcome back to our channel home is where our heart is where today firstly I'd like to welcome you all out here on this fresh crisp autumn morning it's a beautiful day it's about 7 a.m. and it's just as fresh as a daisy the autumn is an incredibly special time of year because it teaches us how beautiful it can be to let things go and it also teaches us to get back to our roots so today we really are going to get back to our roots we're going to go out and learn how to forage and make the world famous dandelion and burdock cola so come with me if you want to learn how to identify burdock and forage it learn about its medicinal properties and then also find and forage the dandelion we'll learn about the medicinal properties and the nutritional properties too of both these plants then we'll head home and Steli will teach us how to cook the world famous dandelion and burdock cola so firstly where did the dandelion and burdock drink even originate from well legend has it that a long time ago in the 13th century there was a man called saint thomas and he'd been up praying all night long and he stumbled out into the countryside just like this at the crack of dawn and he said god i believe that you will provide because he felt awful and he made a drink from the first two plants that he found which was dandelion and burdock now to me it sounds like maybe this saint thomas was potentially up all night not praying but partying and rolled out into the countryside desperate to find a cure for his hangover but coincidentally the dandelion and burdock drink is actually an incredible health boosting tonic and all through the medieval days all the way up to today this drink was much more than just an enjoyable cola it was a fermented health boosting tonic that was once more of a, a root beer but over time evolved into the fizzy kind of cola drinks that we all know today so here's what we're looking for the common burdock in its first year's growth now the burdock the whole plant is edible the leaves the stem and the root but you only want to eat it when it's in its first year's growth now how do you know if it's in its first year's growth because to understand that we need to understand that this plant is what's called a biennial and what does that mean that means this plant has two stages in its life in the first year it's a rosette of giant almost jurassic park leaves that grow out of the ground in a rosette and then in its second year a big stem comes out the middle and the burdock blooms out as big as me with its bright purple flowers that turn into them sticky burrs that stick to your skin. The second year's growth is not what you want to eat because the plants put all of its energy into spreading more burdock life throughout the world. The first year growth, all of the plant's energy is down in its roots in the springtime and in the autumn time. That's when you want to harvest the root of the burdock. So let's learn how to identify the burdock plant. So to identify burdock in its first year's growth, you'll find it growing really low to the ground and the leaves kind of grow out from the ground in a rosette, a circle. The stems, they tend to fade from bright green to a purpley red. And if you cut these stems, you'll find a white pith inside and sometimes they can be hollow. The leaves are giant heart shaped with two giant lobes at the bottom where the leaf joins the stem. The outside of the leaves are wavy. If you look closely around the outside of the leaf, it has a wavy shape to it. And then when you turn the leaf over, you'll see that it's almost white and fuzzy. Then go back to the top of the leaf and you'll see the veins as they branch up to the outside they split before they reach the outer rim of the leaf so now we've learned to identify the common burdock in its first year's growth comes the hard part we need to harvest the burdock's root the root of the burdock in spring and autumn is the best food source that you can get from the burdock 
because it has what's called a tap root. These roots are absolutely huge. They go deep under the ground and draw up their minerals and nutrients that many other plants can't even reach. Now, the burdock's root is a vegetable and it's sold around the world in markets and served up in restaurants, just like carrots and parsnips around the Western world. It really is a huge meal hidden beneath our feet. Now, to harvest the burdock root, we're just gonna need a spade or a trowel and a bit of time to put in some hard work. We're gonna dig a hole right next to the burdock and hopefully just pull the root into it and then we'll have the burdock root. So while we're digging up this root, I thought I'd tell you about the nutritional and medicinal benefits that are locked within the burdock. The burdock's roots are packed full of powerful antioxidants as well as protein, carbohydrates, fiber, calcium, iron, magnesium, potassium, sodium, zinc, copper, vitamins A, C, E, K, B6, B12, and even more. Not only is the burdock root rich nutritionally, it's also been used for its medicinal properties for centuries and centuries. In herbalism, burdock is used for purifying the blood and removing toxins from the blood. It's a liver and kidney tonic, as well as a natural diuretic, making it great for helping us flush out all them built up toxins out of our bodies. It's because of these health boosting properties that also make the burdock really good for things like inflammation and eczema. Here we have the burdock root, the cherished root that's full of nutritional and medicinal properties. It's a big old hefty bit of veg that. Now let's go and find some dandelion. And here we have a dandelion. I've managed to find one with a flower blooming as a good example for you. But most of the time around autumn, you're much better off just finding them growing like this. You see, it's a big rosette of leaves. And these leaves are long and toothed and jagged. And that's how the dandelion gets its name. It comes from the French word dent de lion, which means lion's tooth. And if you squeeze the bottom of these leaves, break them in half, you'll be able to see that famous dandelion sap. sap. <laughs> in folklore they say if you get it on you it means you wet the bed and that's because there's truth in that folklore because the dandelion is a diuretic also if you break the tube open the stem you'll see that it's hollow inside this this milky sap if you apply it to warts several times a day it's a natural treatment for warts so we're going to dig up the dandelion root which is a lot easier then digging up burdock root. So here we have the dandelion's root. Now that's quite a good root. We're gonna dig up some more and then take them home to make our dandelion and burdock, burdock cola. The dandelion is packed with vitamins A, B, C, E, and it's especially rich in vitamin K, as well as iron, calcium, magnesium, and potassium. As well as these nutrients, it's packed full of powerful polyphenols, which have powerful antioxidant effects in the body. I met an old man I said, tell me your story He took out an old pen And wrote something for me And we're home with Stelly! Here we have 
our ginormous burdock root. Look at it. <laughs> and all our lovely dandelion roots. This recipe is so exciting. Dandelion and burdock root cola. Mm, a traditional medieval drink. <laughs> and it's really easy to make. So come with us and I'll show you how to do it. For this recipe, you will need some burdock root. So get out there and do some digging like you've just seen Dane do. We're going to need some dandelion roots, some honey, a bit of ginger, and something to put your cola in. So don't worry too much about amounts. Burdock generally gives you a nice hefty bit anyway. And then we've got here like a handful of dandelion roots. Let's give our roots a good old clean up. Just... We're just going to get these big chunks of mud off. Don't worry about getting them too clean because we're going to peel them up. Now, there's lots of goodness in this skin. So if you want to give it a good scrub without peeling it, you can. But we're just going to give our roots a peel. You'll notice that when you peel it, it's bright white and it really quickly just changes to a dark color again. If you want to keep it white, just pop it in some apple cider vinegar and it will stay white. But we're not bothered about that because we're making a drink. And the same thing applies for the dandelion root. Just gonna give them a little skin, get them all fresh. So don't worry about peeling them to perfection. This'll do. Chip chop your roots just sort of about a pound thickness so when they go in with the water they'll be able to squeeze out all the juices mm. it's really interesting to look at the root it's almost like a tree when you slice a tree in half there's loads and loads of rings really cool. Add your burdock to your pan. Check this out guys. Dandelion root. How cool is that? We're just going to chip chop these up and pop them in the pan. So this has just been about five minutes and look how dark the burdock has gone. Kind of reminiscent of that dark cola dandelion and burdock drink now in japan this is called gobo i hope i'm pronouncing that right tell me if i'm not and it's a japanese delicacy so burdock is sold alongside the potatoes it's a regular vegetable that you can buy in the supermarket and the way they harvest them they don't wick them out the ground like they just did they actually grow them in big troughs and they open the doors and they just take out the root. How simple is that? Add your dandelion root to your pan. Add three cups of water. One, two, three. We're gonna slice up a knob of ginger. So, I measure a knob of ginger by the size of my thumb, about a thumb's worth of ginger. And pop it in your pan. Pop your lid on, put it on a high heat and bring to the boil. Bring down to a gentle simmer. So bring down the heat, simmer lightly. Then he kept walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost Then I looked down at what he wrote It's been simmering for 30 minutes and you can really see it's taken on that dark colour and infused all the burdock and dandelion in the water. So look at this. The infusing of the burdock 
and dandelion is complete. Now it's time to strain. So we're going to strain it into a tub so we don't get no little bits. Now take your dandelion and burdock juice, pop it back in your pan for the goodness and add one cup of honey. You can also add sugar instead if you haven't got any honey. Now, because it's still really hot, I'm just gonna gently stir it so it all infuses together. So we've just used dandelion, burdock and honey with some ginger because that tastes the best to us. But if you like, some people add aniseed to their dandelion and burdock cola. Now, we're gonna add it to our container. Now we add it to our jar. Delicious, you'll be amazed at how much it tastes like dandelion or burdock. <laughs> now if you add a lemon to this, it will last longer, but if not, it will last a couple of weeks in the fridge. So there we have two bottles of the finest dandelion and burdock made fresh from the earth. Now it's time to taste test. Ta-da! There we have it. Homemade dandelion and burdock. Wow. Tastes just like dandelion and burdock cola. Does it taste like cola? It does taste like cola, actually. Ah, amazing. It tastes, it tastes like the one you get in the shop, minus all the junk. Mm, yeah, so if you're <sighs> partial to a red canned fizzy drink, <laughs> <laughs> or blue. not wanting to promote any of them, um, have dandelion and burdock. Yeah, enjoy some dandelion and burdock cola. Yeah. Tastes amazing, it's really good for you. Yeah, and it's just amazing that we can make such a cool thing with such simple ingredients yeah. and a little tiny bit of hard work. <laughs> if you're wondering what that fizzy water we added to it was, that was fizzy water. Just fizzy water. <laughs> just fizzy Sparkling water. water. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, let us know in the comments if you've got any questions. Try some. It's good. <laughs> I'm well impressed. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, don't forget to do all their modern world things such as like comment subscribe and there's this weird little bell button down there It's really important that people ring the bell <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is really cool because then um, when we make a new video and we upload it You'll get a notification saying you get a notification. that we made new videos yeah. so If you want to know more about dandelion and burdock yeah. type recipes then ring that bell and we will be in your yeah. in your phone. When we upload, your pocket will go, and it will be us calling. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you all next time. Peace.